rivers are flowing in constant motion Down from the mountains into the ocean The river gets faster, wider, deeper The profile is more flat, not steeper On the top of the river or the upper course, the start of the river is called the source. Conditions up here are cold, wet and marshy, the water starts flowing in small tributaries. The sides are steep and the river is narrow, there's not much water so the river is shallow. The river cuts down all vertically, results of this are V-shaped valleys. Another upper feature is a waterfall Hard rock meets soft rock, deep and tall Hard rock and rain, soft rock erodes A deep plunge pool forms down below Rivers are flowing in constant motion Down from the mountains into the ocean The river gets faster, wider, deeper The profile is more flat, not steeper Middle course, the river gets fatter and the river profile keeps getting flatter. The river channel starts to twist and turn. Meander is the bend, this term you need to learn. The beach forms on meander inside. The load is dropped as the river gets tired. The process of dropping is called deposition. The load it drops is called alluvium. On the outside, meander is fast and deep. A cliff forms here, it's tall and steep. The river goes fast its way, always straight. The river gets cut to an oxbow lake. Rivers are flowing in constant motion, down from the mountains into the ocean. The river gets faster, wider, deeper. The profile is more flat, not steeper. In the lower course, the river is deeper, wider still. The land is flat, there are no hills. The river will flood when there's lots of rain. This widespread feature is called a flood plain. As the river winds towards the sea, the tidal area is an estuary. The mouth of the river is where it ends. Water into the ocean, the river sends. And this is where it ends. Rivers are flowing in constant motion down from the mountains into the ocean. The river gets faster, wider, deeper. The profile is more flat, not steeper. Flat, not steeper.